Hi everyone, Francesco again. Uh, wow, I am completely inundated with your views this morning on my play vlog that I did last night. So a massive thank you to you all. If 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 I am discussing something, if I if you want me to discuss something that is not already on me on the channel, please feel free to give me a comment in the comment section below because I will be more than happy to answer any questions or queries that you've got. So today's vlog is all about asthma awareness and why it's so important, especially when your child will be starting school in September or if there's any parents that have children with cerebral palsy who have quite complex breathing difficulties. Now I just want to throw a disclaimer on to say that I'm not a nurse or medical professional in any way so if you are having trouble breathing then please speak to your local doctor or nurse. So I am on two different types of asthma medication, Clenial Modulite. The Clenial Modulite is a light brown inhaler and I'm on the Blue Ventolin Salbutamol inhaler. And I use a device called the aerial chamber. Now, this is a tube that allows me to take the cap off, give the inhaler a shake, I put it in the back of the aerial chamber, and then as I start to breathe in, I put this to my mouth, and then I just press and breathe in. This way, I don't really have to think about the rate of my breathing. I can just breathe this in at any time. And it allows some of the particles of the medication to break down. Another way of delivering asthma medication if you are really having trouble breathing is by a nebulizer. This system is mostly made up of the compressor, the medication and the, and the nebulizer mask or mouthpiece and it's completely up to you on which method you think is easy enough. But I think if the aero chamber is a most effective way of delivering medication because you don't really have to worry about the taste or the smell because the steroid ones in particular taste absolutely foul. So I think personally if you are if you are having trouble breathing these aero chambers are the best alternative. And and they all do come with with some side effects as well uh, but like I say please refer to your doctor or nurse to have some more discussions about this um, but I think it's really important that asthma awareness is created through schools and colleges as well because you might have a child with cerebral palsy who may not know when they are having trouble breathing and they cannot communicate so I think it's best if you go into your school or college and have a discussion with your teacher or, and get an asthma action plan where you can actually jot down the medications that they need and what to do if an asthma attack arises or just to help them stop getting any worse in the future. Now there are different triggers to asthma. Some of these can be mould, pollen, cold, dust, any pets or pets that you've got or if you if your child or yourself is allergic to a certain material then please jot all this down just so that then the school or college or wherever they may be they can help you provide the best treatment to stop the asthma attacks from, from getting worse and hopefully avoiding the need to go to hospital so this is just a quick vlog on asthma education. I want to let I want to know what medications you are using and if this is trying to help you in any way. Uh, please feel free to keep liking, commenting, and subscribing. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.